Hey, I think we've got we've got quite a lot of people on the call today. So welcome, 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 welcome everyone to the call. Yes. All right. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> so I see quite a few people here. A very good afternoon to everyone. I hope you, uh, I can assure you this is going to be one afternoon that is worth spending. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. So I hope everybody can see my slides. Yes. Yeah, you can see my slides, right? Okay, good. So welcome again. My name's Eileen. I'm from the Art of Korea. I'm an organizational psychologist. I'm also the founder of Art of Korea. And it really makes me so excited to have this session today because it's such a rare opportunity to have with us the entire team, the, you know, the people behind the company that you're going to meet today. And we've got Sue with us, who is on camera right now. I'm going to just stop share so that we can all see her. Hi, Sue. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Really glad to have everyone here. Hello. Yeah. Hello. This is very, very good. And then we also have behind the scene, the team from ZTO as well. So you can see Michael and, um, and Trevor. You can see their name in the Zoom call. And I really just, wow, I'm so um, pleasantly surprised there are quite a few people on the call today. So, so very, very pleased. Um, we are happy to also share with you, I think the entire team here with us are going to be sharing with us, you know, the plans. A, what, who is ZTO? Uh, that was the first question I asked. And then later on, when I dig in a little deeper, then I realized, wow, ZTO is such a huge company. Uh, even though they are starting out in Singapore. And uh, I know Sue is going to be walking through with us, give you some background about what ZTO does. And we've got some listeners, I, I know, on Facebook as well. But do, you know, ask your questions. We'll try and get to your questions um, as much as possible. You've got a team here. Those of you who are watching this recording, do know that behind this, the managing director of ZTO in Singapore, Isaiah, is also, you know, you're, you're having his full support to this as well. So they really want to know you. So please feel free to ask your question, even though you're watching the recording. All right. So I thought without further ado, can we have, uh, I'm going to pass the floor over to you, Sue. Introduce yourself. I know you have, the team has worked so hard to put this whole yeah. deck together. <laughs> Over to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep. So let me just share with you the screen. Yep. Cool. Okay. Um, hi everyone. So we are here from ZTO Singapore. Cool. Yeah. Uh is the sound all right? Yep, it's fine now. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. So we are from ZTO Singapore. We have here with me our general manager, Isaiah. Uh, I hope you can see him. Hello. <laughs> yeah. And myself, Sue, who's from Human Resource. Okay, moving on. Uh, you got a very interesting uh, last name. Yeah, because uh, I'm actually from Myanmar, so... So yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, I hope everyone is having a great afternoon and hopefully you have all taken your lunch. Uh, extremely glad to be able to speak to this crowd. Now, let's start off with a brief introduction about ZTO and so you can have a better understanding of who we are. Yep. Good. Okay. Um, so, um, I hope I'll be able to provide everyone with a better insight. First and foremost, we are one of the top leading uh, courier services in China with the impressive 20.8 market share, making us the largest express delivery uh, company in China. Yeah, so we are recognized uh, by not only being listed in the Hong Kong exchange, but also the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. No way. You know, every time I hear the word startup and then you tell me you're listed in the stock exchange, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very strong presence, I would very say. Yeah. 
And uh, for this slide, it's just a more elaborate detailing of the previous slide, but I just want you to take note that we pride ourselves for having the top customer service uh, ranking uh, satisfaction score since 2014. So we really care about our customers, yeah. Amazing. Not only are you concerned about delivery, you're concerned about service. Yes, that would definitely. Take you. Mm. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I just want to give you a background on how did we get here and what helped us get here. So this slide shows uh, the core competitive advantages that ZTO possesses. Um, I just want to briefly touch on a few. So we have operational and cost efficiency that are brought about due to our data uh, analytics and our automation systems. So um, as you can see, we are definitely enabled to our technological advancements. And this is precisely why we're looking for more developers to join our team. And as you can see, our mission here in ZTO is to bring happiness to more people through our services. Definitely. I love it. I entirely love it. We had a team gathering last night at Art of Korea and happiness is definitely one of the core value. <laughs> so Yeah, definitely here too, here as well. Excellent. Um, and here in ZTU, we also have a culture of innovation and technological focus, uh, which uh, going forward will continue to drive our uh, value creation. And I just want to emphasize on our strong in-house R&D and our data analytics uh, capabilities. So we are actually certified uh, as a high and new technology enterprise since 2017. And we are certainly making more technological breakthroughs that I'm sure that uh, most developers will be keen on being a part of. Hey, very nice, very nice. Wow. So you, you emphasize on quality as well. Yes, definitely. And in case my voice is getting a little mundane, uh, let me play you a, vi a video to give you some visual enlightenment on our day-to-day -day operations. Let me just uh, share the screen for you. Very nice. No, your voice is not mundane, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. ZTO International Logistics acquired a team of logistic veterans and established ZTO Singapore in April 2020. Since then, we have grown to six stations, contracted more than 500 delivery drivers, operating in a 60,000 square feet warehouse space along with 4,000 square feet office space. At ZTO Singapore, we provide a one-stop solution to the e-commerce logistics industry. In the local market, we provide door-to-door -door service for our customers all the way from picking up the parcel from the warehouse to delivering to their consignee's doorstep. Providing sea and air freight solutions to both local and overseas customers, we ensure reliable worldwide logistics solutions for importing and exporting goods. We also do fulfillment, where we assist our customers to store their goods in our warehouse. Upon receiving of orders, we will handle the picking, packaging, and labeling before delivering the parcel to the consignee. We are the first company in Singapore to start the initiative of stations. Stations are our long-term partners to provide better and faster service to our customers. With stations located closer to our customers and their consignees, this facilitates smoother and more convenient delivery or self-pickup. We are a company that innovates and adopt the latest technology. Whether rain or shine, we offer our best service to our customers. Your trusted brand, your dedicated logistics partner, ZTO Singapore. I like the concept of station. <laughs> okay, maybe you want to share with us a little bit more about that. Oh, you're on mute. Ah, Tu, you're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe uh, for the stations, I'll get my general manager idea to elaborate a little bit more on it. Wow. Okay, what question do you have for, for the station? <laughs> What's this? Uh, because you say first in Singapore, you know, uh, what what's the concept of stations? Uh, the actually this concept was brought about from China. The okay. the main thing is have station is so that we can actually deliver faster to the customers. 
also on the same part for fulfillment, right? We can actually store all the fulfillment goods in the respective uh, postal code areas in the different uh, station. So, wow. for example, if the customer was staying in Bishan, he buy something, okay. and uh, the, hap the item happens to be in the Bishan station, they'll probably get it within the day or the following day. So, the, the, is, this is to actually facilitate the, the efficiency of the delivery. Wow, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. I think you can, uh, you can be as good you know, as, as we can see, because there's a lot of people going and uh, going online and setting up e-commerce stalls. So the first thing that's always on my mind, I was just thinking if I were to sell anything, you know, how soon are my uh, audience or my clients going to get the product? So if you have that stations, it's really going to shorten the delivery time. Wow. And that's a huge investment, I would say. Very, very big investment. Okay, thank you so much. That's great. And um, so what other positions do we have? Other positions in terms of, um, let me uh, move on to the next slide. Um, oh, okay, sorry, sorry to interrupt and- uh, No, no, no worries. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, then I just want to let you know, because uh, I'm sure not everyone has heard of us in Singapore. So I want to give you clarity on the work we provide here. Uh, so actually we handle 100% of uh, the Taobao shipment by sea for B2C. Um, so this is handled entirely by us. Yeah, moreover, the volume that we handle in terms of parcels exceed uh, 2,000 daily, I mean 20,000 daily and sometimes even go up to 200 containers a day when there is the peak period, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of uh, volume to handle. Yeah. Oh, start up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oops. Okay. Um. Although um we are a startup, uh, we try to ensure that our um workforce is um at least seventy five percent locals and PRs because we absolutely adore the idea of having a strong local workforce. Um. But as you know, um, this hasn't always um uh, exactly been the easiest. So I hope hopefully today will help us in some way. Okay. Yeah. You know, too, it's really interesting to hear this. Um, which is why we have such a such a forum because you know job seekers uh, and I see a thumbs up from Colin. Colin has been so active and Colin was the first to lock in as well. Colin, I think you're in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Yeah, and and um, as I was saying that um, you know it's so encouraging to hear what you say. You want to do your part to build a strong local workforce, and I really hope that uh, I'm able to connect the employers and the job seekers as well. Yay. Yes, definitely. Uh, we're very grateful for the opportunity as well. Okay, cool. All right. Sorry to interrupt again. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Uh, moving forward, uh, we are expanding. Um, so we have positions open at not just the operational and administrative level, but okay. even at uh, managerial levels. And we would definitely love for uh, talents like the people watching currently to join us. Yeah, definitely. So, guys, while you're on the, uh, while you're on the call, can you type in the roles that you are interested in? And yep, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, for managerial level, we definitely have, um, the customer service manager and the sales manager position. Um, so I will actually touch more in detail for each role. Okay. Sure. For the customer service manager, he or she should be responsible for managing a team of customer service officers and also while managing key accounts. And so we definitely want someone with uh, strong interpersonal skills. So I need the person to be able to not only be um, skillful at handling the customer service officers, but also have a pleasant disposition when it comes to handling the customers. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, next we have the next we have the sales manager role. Um, for the sales manager role, uh, I'm looking for someone that is uh will be able to develop and expand our customer base, not just uh, locally, yeah. but but also um not just locally, but also internationally. Yeah. So our 
So they should bring about sales, uh, business opportunities. Therefore, the person definitely needs to be driven and I would say goal oriented. Okay, so it's interesting to see here, not just local but international. So yeah. Mm, okay. That's because cool. we're always um, expanding and definitely always venture, um, not just in the local scene. Yeah. Okay, sure. That's yeah, then uh, moving on to more uh, administrative roles, we have uh, positions open such as developers, sale executives, um, human resource executives. Um, okay, so let me just uh, briefly touch uh, for our developer role. Okay. Uh, he or she will be responsible for developing applications as well as the AI components. Hence, we definitely need someone with a good grasp of all these um, programming languages, uh, full stack preferably. Uh, we also need the person to be a team player and have excellent troubleshooting skills and that, that will make the person uh, really quite suitable for the role, I would say. Okay, this is interesting because I think AI is becoming quite a Correct. Singly, you know, needed kind of skills, right? Yeah, I would say so too. Mm. Um, next, we have our sales executive, sales administrative role, um, where they will be promoting our products and services and also be responsible for some um, other administrative duties. So um, for our roles, we always wish that people will be a little bit more diverse, I would say, just so that they can have um, more flexibility when they work so that they are not tied down by just uh, one mundane role. Mm. Okay, yeah. very good. Um, Next uh, will be a human resource executive uh, because my human resource uh, exec will definitely need to cover a wide range of um, HR functions as, um, as well as recruiting and retention. So I just need someone with a bright and fun personality while being very responsible and reliable because uh, the person normally will handle a lot of uh, confidential stuff. So we need the person to be quite reliable and trustworthy. Yeah. Wow, I think this is good. You mentioned the word fun as well. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> I know that in our midst we have um, not just today. I know that we've got quite a, few, quite a few people who are you know from the HR profession. So if they yeah. hear this and see this. I'm pretty sure they will be very keen. Yes. Yeah, that's great. That's great to hear. Um, next, we have our operational roles. Um, so they range from the warehouse assistant drivers to freight officers and customer service officers. So I'll just touch uh, very briefly on these. Um, so we have the warehouse assistants and the customer service officers. Uh, warehouse assistants right. uh, can be sometimes physically demanding, but I wouldn't say that our job is um, that demanding, just that, of course, uh, physical labor is required to a certain extent. Um, as for our customer service officers, um, definitely they will be the face of the company. As we say, as I, we have mentioned also, um, customer service is something that we pride ourselves in. So we definitely want someone to be able to handle the customers even in the worst of situations. Okay. Very yeah. Nice. Uh, so next, these are just uh, rough um, links that you can actually, uh, I don't think uh, I can probably click on a few, but uh, these are just all the roles that we have available. In fact, we have uh, probably more. So when you go to My Careers Future, you can just um, type ZTO and you will get a link of all the job openings that we have. And I'm, we will be very proactive in actually uh, getting back to all the applicants. Oh, good. Wow. Gosh, this is a this is one of the most heard complaint that I get. I see Colin is giving a heart. So, Lou, <laughs> are you going to give him something? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, of course. Um, Colleen, um, I think we can probably will be able to send you a mask or a cap, whichever one you have a preference for. So maybe later, um, I'll, so this is my contact details. Uh, maybe you can just drop me an email with your address. So we just want to show you that we will actually deliver the item to you directly. So you can just give us your address as well. Uh, just send it to my email or you can actually contact my mobile number as well. Wow, Colleen, you need to take a picture. Please send me after you receive the mask. Oh gosh, this is so good. Personal delivery to you. This is such yeah. a treat. I never expected this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Colin, do you have something to say? Can you tell us about the role that you're interested in, Colin? Yes, Colin. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. You're most welcome. Yeah, so can you tell us a bit about your the roles you're interested in, your background in logistics or something like that? Yeah, I don't I don't actually have a direct uh, logistics background per se, mm. but uh, I have uh, in the past um, had experience in terms of uh, supporting in uh, an organization's supply chain. So I do know basics of logistics. Wow. I have actually, really yeah, I have actually worked in China before for a while. Wow, oh. that's even an added plus, right? Yeah, Isaiah, yeah, are definitely. You, are you hearing this, Isaiah and Sue? Are you hearing this? Yes, yeah, yes, definitely. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Yeah, and uh, and and I think this is um, well. Congratulations, Colin. You Thank are you the so first to join us, and also, uh, you know, be, be basically also the first to be so active on call, and this is one of the ways to be visible to the employer and with. Employers such as ZTO, who is expanding, I'm very sure they are open to ideas as well. Yay! Yes, cool. uh, more than willing to accept you in our team. Uh, you can just wow. always uh, drop me my drop me a resume to my email, and I'll definitely try to find a suitable role. Yeah, so you feel free to contact me anytime. Awesome! Right. Thank you so much, Sue. <laughs> no worries. This is so great. How how often do you hear employers saying that? Right? Never. <laughs> Yeah, never. <laughs> what you see, Colin say never. Okay, cool. Very nice. All right. I, I hear Jamie are muting as well. Jamie, you want to say something, is it? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for giving me the airtime. And um, I saw your company profile and read about it. And congratulations. You are expanding so rapidly in Asia Pack. And I hope one day your company will go global as well. And <laughs> they are really and quite global, are, <laughs> but they want to go it, even more. Yeah, yeah, even more. Uh, and, and, and it is in the right strategic direction in the light of the pandemic. And after the pandemic, I'm sure people who are so used to e-commerce and starting business, etc., will require logistic services. And I'm just wondering uh, aloud whether um, in your expansion, you okay, require wait, wait. Jamie, support. Jamie, can I just ask? Um, can you just kill the volume on your other connection or, oh, okay. or, or disconnect that one um, so that you don't get a echo and feedback? Okay, now better? Can you hear me oh, better? Now better, so much better. Yeah, please. Yes. Okay, I think uh, very noisy background. Yeah, uh, in the light of the expansion, maybe, you know, in the near future, is there any plan to set up your procurement and sourcing function? regionally or globally? Uh, for that question, maybe I'll pass it on to my general manager to answer that. Actually, right now, we are not planning this in the near future because we are trying to consolidate our resources in Singapore to be the main HQ for Southeast Asia. So not, not in this plan for the moment. I see. Yeah. yeah. Our, our, our goal is ultimately is to control the rest of the Southeast Asia branches. And we are not going to diversify elsewhere first. Okay. I like the keyword first, not yet. <laughs> not yet, yeah. yeah. Even in um, Asia Pacific or in ASEAN, uh, if you are considering it, then it might be good to have sourcing or procurement support. Then uh, we scale upwards. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Very nice. Um. Okay. So Sue, do you have um do you have any any other slides to share? If not, we actually have some questions on the chat itself that we may need uh some answers to. Yeah. Sure. Um. I'm done with my slides. So sure. I'm open to the questions. Okay. All right. So I think we've got a question from, let's see, uh, from uh, Yen Chun. So Yen Chun was asking uh, a role, right? For example, sales manager, do, are you do you require the sales manager to travel? Um, I would say that 
we currently with the COVID restrictions, of course not, but then in the future, definitely if we are to uh, go beyond locally, definitely traveling will not be out of the picture. So it is something that um, the sales manager can look forward to. Okay, good. Yeah. So um, I think also there are some travel travel restrictions, right? Yeah, currently, um, definitely with the COVID, the pandemic situation, I think currently it's really quite difficult to travel. I think on a normal basis, is actually traveling will incur every quarter because this is also an issue with language barrier and cultural barrier. So sometimes it's best we go over there and have a face-to-face -face meeting to discuss some of the details. So I will foresee every quarter uh, if things are back to normal. Okay, very nice. So maybe, so can I ask you to stop sharing so that we can see, um, we can see a bigger video, video footage of everyone. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, especially Isaiah, you know, hiding in a corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And then we've I'm got... I'm having difficulty displaying happiness. <laughs> No, no, no. You're very generous already. And uh, I hope more people here can win some more masks. Maybe Jamie should have one as well. Because <laughs> she yeah. asked the question. Um, at the end of it, we'll probably let you know the list of winners. And I will ask them to just drop me an email with their address and everything so that um, I can send over the items. Very nice. There's also a question about, is there a call center handling customer call? Or are you expecting this customer service executive to handle everything? <laughs> Actually, as a whole, I don't support call centers because oh, if you look at the model of Singpost, right? You mm. call them, the mm. call center is in India and they tell you three working days that are replied to you. And all the customers will be frustrated because the call center, they have no visibility to the deliveries. They have no visibility to the drivers. They have no right. idea what the parcel status. So actually, to begin with, this is not a very good model. So we are not striving on that. It's so encouraging to hear that, I, I, I must say. You know, just hearing from you, having coming into the market, having your idea of service is very, very encouraging. So I can just imagine myself being in your team, just thinking, wow, we are going to challenge that norm and really cut to the chase. Actually, you're right, because I hate to answer, press one for English, press two for Mandarin, and then, you know, and then I get round and round and round, brought round. The one we may still have, but it's just that- oh, you may still have. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have, we, we, we're gonna have limited customer service officer. So definitely, we will take turns, but we will try to reply within uh, next 30 minutes, one hour, depending on the load. At least, and they have visibility of the parcels as well, and they have, full contact with the driver so we can give the most up-to-date status of the parcel rather than seeing both reply three days later they are updated then three days later they call you they say another three days later so it drags on too long okay very nice okay thank you thank you very much for that is there a language requirement for the customer service officer that's one question on the chat okay to give a politically correct answer no but do, okay. do bear in mind, we, we do service. And so now our primary focus is on China, but we are actually branching to international. So in the future, I'll foresee no, because it will be a mixture. Right? Yes. Yeah, we have a mixture of things. So yeah. yeah. And also we've got, um, how should I say, we've got, you know, it's a multilingual environment that we are in right now, right? So we need to at least try and serve the four main languages, but you know, I can't speak all four languages, but at least we specialize in, in one. Yeah. Okay. So nice to hear that from you, Isaiah. Very good. Um, that's also another one. Do we need to service customer from overseas? I think we're having more people joining in. <laughs> uh, do we need to? Uh, we do need to. Oh, can so... you define the word service? <laughs> I'm having trouble understanding the service. Uh, okay. So customer calls that come in, is it only calls originating from Singapore, or we are also, let's say someone in Malaysia can also call this. At, at uh, this point in time, it's mostly local. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mostly local. All right. Very good. I think Fang Mo Ling Ning asked a question. Uh, can I understand ZTO strategy towards its expansion plan and with regards to business development? 
are there regions or countries that are most prioritized? Okay, for this, because our current core business are all from China. So from mm. starting from this year, actually we are trying to diversify and expand to, to the, uh, the, to the uh, European. Yeah, yeah, Vietnam, Malaysia, or to, to the South neighboring East. countries. Yeah, neighboring countries. Okay, okay. That's, that's, so that's a yes. All right, that's a yes. Definitely they are expanding and I see a lot of scope here. Very good. Um, there's also a question from uh, Yen Chun saying, is this customer service role a startup role, meaning new role, or is it a existing role or replacement role? In other words, is it a new or is it a replacement role? Uh, it's an existing role. So we already currently have a lot of customer service officers with us currently as well. So we are just hoping to expand. So definitely um, having more team members on the customer service team, yeah. Okay, yep. I hope that answers your question, Yan Chun. Yan Chun also got one more question. Uh, Yan sure. Chun asks, do you have any remote roles available? You know, uh, I'm currently overseas, maybe because of COVID, uh, will consider coming back or relocating, relocating back to Singapore when uh, the border, travel borders open. So, uh, mm. can I just check uh, which country in particular or... Okay, so that one, uh, Yen Chu have to answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ZTO Singapore. Okay, this is another another question, which is maybe uh, you have answered already, but let me just ask again. It's okay to rephrase. Yeah, uh, sure. does, does ZTO Singapore only look after Singapore? <laughs> that... <laughs> okay, I think, can you elaborate on the question itself? Oh, can you elaborate? La? We are talking okay. about protecting locals, definitely, because I'm a local here as well. So if that's pertaining to that question. Oh, no, I don't think so. I think that one is just asking, uh, does ZTO scope of service only, I mean, I think that's the question, only look after Singapore business. Currently in Singapore, but we are trying to do some other business. Ah, you see, yeah. so, so that's a... That's a that's a good answer. Yeah, because what you're saying is you are putting Singapore as a priority, but what you are doing is you have plans to expand overseas. Like, for example, what you said just now, neighboring countries, right? I think it's also, we have to expand because Singapore is a very limited country. We, uh, we, can, only, uh, we can only actually have this pool of customers. We can't make any bigger if we don't expand elsewhere. I see. Okay, very good. Uh, another question is, for the sales role, do you require those, uh, is it very strict that you need salespeople with logistic experience? Uh, no, uh, not per se just logistic experience. Um, anybody who is uh, previously have any experience in um, sales of any sort, I mean definitely um, logistic background is a uh, plus, but then definitely not limited to just uh, logistic um, sales. Uh, any type of sales representatives, we are more than willing to uh, give a chance. Let um, me add on that for, yes, please. for me, sales is, I will see as a few components are, some, okay. some people are sales, but they are not a closer. So they can actually fit into a pre-sales. Yeah. We do have people can, who can be pre-sales where they, can, they have the product of the knowledge, the, the product knowledge, but they are unable to close. So mm -hmm. we will try to figure a way out to let them work hand in hand. So one will be the product expert, one will be the closer. Yeah, I really like yeah. that. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I can tell Isaiah, yeah, I see. Colin, uh, you really... You're working very hard now, very good. I really like you on our course, you know, you're so engaged. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think Isaiah, clearly you have sales background as well. There are, there are people who are very good at hunting, but not very good at closing, right? And then some people are so good at closing, just bring me whoever, I'm so good at, at, at convincing them. So yeah, so you've got pre-sales as well. Actually guys, you know, hearing from what ZTO has mentioned, they are here to stay, they are here to expand get in on the bandwagon, be part of their pioneer team. And I can see that Isaiah is open for ideas as well. I think there's also another question. Do we need to have certain qualification as a customer service officer? Um, if you're, are you talking about um, educational qualifications or uh, job any, 
I think, yeah, I, I'm not too sure here, but uh, guys, there is the, oh yeah, Mr. C.T. Ang, you want to ask? Yes, um, I just want to know is um, if we have, I have experience in dealing with customer, but I don't have qualifications, will, will, will that fit the bill? Yeah, um, you can always drop by, uh, send me your resume. Definitely, um, I will give your resume a look through and definitely give you a call back uh, based on what you are good at, um, all your advan all the advantages and disadvantages will definitely weigh out. Um, so you are, we're not limited to what we just uh, put on the um, job application requirements. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm Michael here. Uh, just to make sure I don't need a video before I crack the screen of everybody's notebook. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm Michael here. Uh, with response to your questions regarding if do we need relevance, experience, and stuff like that, I think one key point here is this everybody on the call, we all have transferable skills. And being a startup, we are nimble, we are agile, and we write things out of the box. Uh, in fact, some of the customer service officers that we are hoping you know, would be applying would be those, uh, uh, those displays, air students and stuff like that. They may not necessarily have experience in logistics, but they have the people skills. So again, you know, uh, for those of you who are keen on such roles, do send us your CVs or in cases where you know your friends, your relatives who might be interested in such roles, please uh, forward that to them as well. And we we want to please to explore uh, such opportunities with them. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really good to know. And I think uh, there was a phrase I wanted to share, and I'm going to ask Fang Mo Ning to, to go next because uh, uh, he or she raised the hand. Uh, the, the phrase I want to say and quickly want to say now is if you are good in sales, you can, you can sell ice to Eskimo, right? <laughs> hey, Colin, thank you for being my supporter. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Fun morning. Do you want to ask your question? Uh, you can unmute and ask your question. Yeah. Hi. Yes. Hi. Um, I'm just curious um, because I think earlier on I did ask about, you know, the expansion plans and so on. And of course, you know, it's quite natural that, you know, the ultimate goal is to go international. Now, I think when the question was answered earlier on, I think Isaiah mentioned um, Europe and of course Southeast Asia, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, you know, for example, countries like, for example, um, New Zealand, Australia, or some of the Far East Asian countries like Taiwan, Japan, are this part of the plan as well? And also, of course, if we look at the different regions, right? Um, are we going to attack, you know, or target these regions concurrently? Or is there a level of prioritization? Because I think it also uh, relates to how many uh, people you are going to hire for the role for the sales managers, right? So that's my question. Okay, I'll take your question. Um, okay, so I think I think when it comes to can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Can't see you or me, yeah, No, I don't have no pointers with it. Okay, so. Uh, coming back to your question about okay. growth expansion plan, I think uh, the market for e-commerce today is humongous here in Southeast Asia, particularly across the region which uh, Isaiah has mentioned, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, which is key today, uh, which are the immediate priorities for us today. Of course, uh, okay. if we expand further, we will also look at you know, things are going into Europe, things are going to US. And the idea is actually to make use of Singapore as a hub. Uh, as uh, you might already have seen earlier in the first page of uh, the introduction when uh, Sue was presenting it, it, it says using Singapore as an e-commerce hub. Uh, aligned with what the government is trying to do, we are trying to also push that forward. But ZTO has a big advantage where we are a major, major player in China. And e-commerce, we are doubt at least minimally 70% of those items comes from China. And Singapore has helped mix a lot of sense, uh, bringing the items here, both in distribution to Singapore as well as distribution across the different ASEAN region, and subsequently using Singapore as a catalyst to send those items either by sea, by air, into the Europe as well as the US market. 
As for Australia and New Zealand, naturally that, that will come into play. Uh, but today, uh, based on our research, New Zealand and Australia, they don't have a very sizable uh, e-commerce and, and those uh, two countries are dominated by a few key players today. And we leave that at, uh, for time being. Hope that answers your question. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think Fang Fang Mo Fang Fang Mo Ning. Uh, how how do I address you? I'm so sorry. You can call me Ning. Just Ning, call my surname is okay. Oh, okay, okay. So um, yeah, just want to respect you, you know, because Ning, yeah. So Ning, just now you asked about specifically about Taiwan and and Japan, is it? Or is there any specific location you are more interested in? You are based in Singapore. I'm based in Singapore, I'm a PR, and I'm actually Taiwanese by origin. Um, but that wasn't the reason why I asked. I, I'm just <laughs> trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand in terms of the different regions, you know, the prioritization. And also, you know, when it comes to sales and business development, there's a lot of account planning as well, right? So if there's actually sort of, you know, already a group of strategy accounts that have been identified that Zetio wants to uh, get closure with first, or, mm -hmm. you know, what is the, the sort of go-to-market sort of uh, activities or plans that they have in mind. Very nice. And you are, uh, sounds like you're interested in, uh, in sales, sales role. role. Wonderful. You know, sales role is always needed by all businesses. So it'll, it'll be a very good addition. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. So I think, uh, yep, you absolutely should be approaching them and then I'm sure they will be very happy right to to look and explore um i see a raised hand from um uh, yen chun you want to ask a question and yen chun also <laughs> mentioned australia so if you want to expand into australia i think we've got someone there uh isaiah and sue someone from australia already you know they can you can expand your footprint <laughs> okay um yeah the question is for isaiah um i'm more interested in the customer service role so you mentioned that you're not a big buyer into um, call centers. So I'm just curious. So if not call centers, how is this customer service support going to work? Like, are you locating the customer service offices in all your stations or centrally we receive calls out of somewhere? Can you elaborate more on that? Okay, currently they are actually located in our office. We also have one team in China as well. So these are our, in a way, it's our call center. Right. We actually, our direction is for them to be close to the operation site so that they can get the up-to-date status of the parcels. Mm, okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah, does that yep. answer your question? <laughs> yep, yep, thank you. Okay. So I think, um, I think the Shi Ti, would you want to, um, would you want to ask any question? Adria or Jane, this is your chance to ask your questions. If you want, if you if not, then you know just type your questions in the chat. I think I see a team as well. Team has just joined us. So if you've got question, please just ask. If not, can you type the roles that you're interested in or the recent roles that you have taken on? Okay, Jane. Okay, good. He's keen. Uh, Jane is keen on the sales role as well. Uh, what I know in, in most companies, sales is always needed. And um, um, <laughs> I would say it's almost like, you know, self-funded role as well, uh, because you, you'll be bringing in more businesses, which will then, you know, funnel through and, and pick off the value chain itself. Yeah. But, um, but can I ask Isaiah or Sue, how many sales positions are you looking for? Okay, let me answer this. I will try with a more pragmatic answer to this. As of now, because our sales are mostly relationship based sales. Mm, mm. So of course, if we have someone who say, Oh, I have contacts in Australia, you're welcome to join us. Mm. I have contacts in Vietnam, you're welcome to join us. We I can want up. So to me, this is a this will be my pragmatic answer. Very, very open answer. I would be super keen. <laughs> but but this is good. This is good. Yeah. And um, I was hoping you mentioned Taiwan as well. But anyway. <laughs> okay. Taiwan as well. Top priority. 
Okay, Ning, you'll be very happy here. All right, you see, she has responded. Yeah, this is a fantastic crowd. Okay, um, all right, you want to show us where to find this open position? I think uh, if, if all of you have got a specific position that is already advertised right now on my careers future, please go apply for it. But um, if not, you know, I think Sue has mentioned many times already, please email her. I just need to trouble Sue to uh, put on the slide again, you know, show everyone that slide on your email contact. Yeah, do send Sue your CV. I think, you know, you won't find another forum where you can go straight to HR and straight to the MD who would who will for sure look at your CV. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Um, give me a moment. I think I have gotten my email address um, list wrongly. So let me just uh, make sure that I give you the correct. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I think uh, Michael has already dropped your email in the chat. Very good. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that the correct email? Yeah. So it's uh, S-U-A-Y-E dash S-G at that dot com. Okay, very good. All right. Do you have a, a quiz question you want to ask the audience here? Um, who's going to walk away with your ZTO mask? Sure. Let me yeah. ask them. Uh, Michael has first a question. question. Okay. Um, how many parcels do you think that ZTO uh, today sends on a daily basis? Mm, that was mentioned just now. Okay, guys, type, type in, in the chat. chat please. In the chat, how many? How many? That was mentioned in the presentation. Ah, uh, Colin. All right, 20,000, that's correct. So, Fantastic. next question. We mentioned the, during the uh, peak season, we do receive quite a huge number of containers that comes through. And these are the C containers, you know, the 40 footer containers. How many containers we mentioned came through in the last uh, peak season? Nobody? Um, I think, uh... Ning is raising her hand, is it? No, no. Nope. Repeat the question. Uh, 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 the let question. me repeat the question again. Yes. Uh, we mentioned earlier on that uh, during the peak season, we have quite a number of uh, sea container, the 40 footer sea container that comes in uh, into ZTO for Singapore. How many was that? Hmm, how many was that? Jamie says 10,000. Sorry, Jamie, you're wrong. We wish we have 10,000 though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, probably nobody got it. 5,000. Nope, sorry, Anton. We also wish we have 5,000. Remember, we are talking about C containers, the 40 footers. Uh, nope. Oh, one. 40 footers. I see. Yeah, 40 okay. footers, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I think you mentioned just now. Yeah, 2,000. Wow, well, no. Okay, end of trial. The wait, 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 wait. 500. Any more, any more, any more. So go lower, right? Go lower, guys. <laughs> no. Want to try? Anyone else want to try? Jane, say 500. Jamie, say 500. Second chance, go lower than 500. <laughs> Going. Going. Ah, CT, okay. Correct. Uh, CT, you're right. We have 200 containers coming in in a very short period of time into CTO. And you can imagine each container itself, one container contains close to about 4,000 parcels or something like that. Yeah. 1,000 over 2,000 parcels. <coughs> so with 200 C uh, containers times the number of parcels that we have is quite a fair bit. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay. So, got the question right. Yeah, correct. So Siti, uh, please remember to email me uh, your address or uh, you can WhatsApp me as well, your address so that I can deliver to you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Call me on YouTube. 
to call in as well, right? Any, yeah. any, any easy, easy price to give to our remaining listeners? I mean, the, they, they made an effort to dial in. Like, yeah, Jamie, yeah. Dane, Tim, Andrea, you know, Jamie, yeah. Stu, T. <laughs> sure. I, I think for, for the winners, we'll send uh, your, uh, not only the uh, mask, which is very useful today, we'll send you the cap. Uh, for the rest of you, if you could kindly send us an email, we will definitely... Uh, mail you out uh, the mask that we have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you're keen on getting our merchandise, just um, drop me an email or a text. I'll, I'll definitely get back to you. Yay. Oh, this is so generous. Thank you so much, everyone, um, for dialing in. And um, really, I want to thank every, you know, ZTO as well. Do send. <laughs> thank I you think so Yenchun, much. Oh my gosh, Yen Chun say I'm in Australia. Will you send it to me? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Think your limits, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Colin, for your compliment. Yeah, bench best lunch. Thanks, uh, ZTO, for your generosity as well. And being such a forward looking, forward thinking. Uh, I'm so encouraged by your leadership, definitely. And um, yeah, thanks, Jane, for, for saying thanks. Everyone else, I don't want to hold you up anymore, but here's your chance to get to connect directly with the employer. And I hope that more job seekers actually reach out to ZTO as well. I wish you all the best. Uh, Isaiah, Sue, Trevor, Trevor and, uh, and Michael. Trevor is working behind the scene, but he's also, you know, yeah, you should you should show yourself, uh, Trevor. <laughs> oh, his job is to constantly remind me to smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, but Isaiah, you got a very motivated team. I'm very encouraged. I hope you can. This is not the only time you come on. Hopefully you can come on again and then meet more people. Yeah, right? actually I got more things to sell on our company, but I guess time's up. <laughs> yes, let's keep it light and sweet. But yes, you're definitely coming back, Isaiah. Okay, so thank you again, everyone. We'll see you perhaps at the next episode. Yeah, that'll thank be you. great. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you so much for having us. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.